Welcome back everybody to yet another Injustice Mobile live stream on uh, our YouTube channel here at Scoobus Gaming. Today is the 18th of June 2022 and we're in summer right now. It's pretty hot. I don't know about you, but uh, today we'll be talking about Blackest Night the Flash. Yes, Blackest Night the Flash is a highly sought after character, MP character that's probably one of the most, uh, you know, popular cards there are in this game. And we're going to be talking about that. But before that, I'm going to give a shout out to the people in the YouTube chat as well to Twitch. Uh, on Twitch, we have awalejohn 74 and Justin35745. What's up? Welcome. Uh, on YouTube, we have Batman Who Laughs, Jails, Cheese Nuggets, Crandon, Eric C. Hauer, um, Coffee Woods, uh, Is Cannot, People React, Jonah Pitts, Yolact, 4K, our uh, moderator, Jay Carson, for joining today. Uh, let's pin this message here. Ali Takor, uh, Derp Thanos. All right. And T Rex 47 on uh, the Twitch chat. Welcome, guys. All right. So uh, today's stream is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a character guide. So I'm going to be talking a little bit more. So bear with me. Um, it's not meant to be a, an exhaustive or you know, super comprehensive guide. Obviously, there are a lot of things that can't be covered within a stream, but I did uh, provide links in the description if you want to get more information about Black Knight the Flash. Um, so you can check the stream description for that, as well as the current channel cycle, current multiplayer cycle, as well as the predicted ones to come. All of that good info are, can be found in the stream description. All right, so uh all right good question from four cases i heard he was a he's like at a metal character level is he really um and i will leave the rating or or the conclusion of how good black Slide the flash is at the end but we, we're gonna go step by step and talk about you know all, all the things about black Slide the flash today uh albion b98 thanks for joining today all right Okay, so just uh, let, let's just go through the guide, and I think some of the questions will be answered uh, as we go along. Noah, thirty-eight forty-two, welcome. Jonah, congrats on graduating high school. That's awesome. All right, how much do you grind? Uh, I, I can give you a solid answer, but if you are talking about top five percent, top one percent, if top one percent, uh, it will be over one point three, one point five million even battle rating. All right. So let's go through uh, Black Side the Flash, okay? Um, let's first go through his uh, base stats. 1,500 damage, 1,300 health. That is the highest, highest combined base stats for any gold card in a game tied with cards like Injustice 2 Superman, Black Side Batman, Batman and Jet Lord Joker. He is right up there in terms of stats, right? So that's already a 10 out of 10 from, from a gold card's perspective. And then we'll go to his passive Black Flash when resurrect. So that three parts, okay? We're gonna go through all these three parts of his passive. First, when resurrected, Black Side Flash returns with 100% health. That's kind of insane. I think he's the only card that does that. The, the only other card that comes close to that is Containment Doomsday. But even then, he only resurrects with like 50% and not 100% health. Um, so any resurrection, okay, he will gain a full bar of power, and that is makes him a good tank. Uh, second part of his passive, basic attacks against the Flash have a 10% chance to miss and leave the attacker open to counterattack. Based on my experience, when uh, you know an enemy uses a basic attack against him, he seems to dodge a little bit more frequently than 10%. That's just my feeling. Uh, I think it's because it's considered every single basic attack. So, you know, one light tap combo is like three, three hits. So every single hit is like 10%, but I don't know. Uh, but according to the, the percentage that's stated in his passive description, it's 10%. But I feel it's a little bit higher, maybe 20, 30%. I don't know. Uh, and the third part of his passive is instead of taking damage, all Black Side teammates gain health and power from enemy DOTs. And this makes, again, uh, him a very, very strong defensive card that can counter a lot of the current uh DOT dealing characters or gears. Um, so, all right, so three parts. First part, resurrection, more health. Second part, dodge basic attacks. And third, 
uh, immune. And not only immune, but heals from DOT and gains power as well. Okay. Um, so let's talk about his strengths here. His strengths, obviously, he, he is such a great tank. But although the resurrection part, he can't resurrect on his own. So if you're new to this game and you see Black Desert Flash, you, you'll be thinking, oh, you know, if he dies, he's going to resurrect again. No, he won't unless you give him gears. These are, there are three ways of uh, making him resurrect. First is giving him two pieces of the, of the fourth wheel set. Two out of three will be enough for resurrection. The second is giving him a Necron Scythe and making sure that he knocks on an opponent first. Then you'll be able to um, trigger the resurrection. And third is, of course, pairing him with his other Blackest Knight teammate, Blackest Knight Hawkgirl, because Blackest Knight Hawkgirl grants resurrection for any Blackest Knight teammates on her team. So those, if, if, and for those of you who are asking, do they stack? Yes. If you have two, th two thirds of the fourth wheel, you have Necron Scythe, you have Blackest Knight Hawkgirl on your team, you can resurrect up to three times, essentially giving him four full bars of health. So that's kind of crazy. I mean, like the amount of health uh, damage that he can tank from that is absolutely insane. And that alone is already one reason why he's, you know, such a great character. Um, so that's his one of his strengths. Of course, the other strength is, you know, any form of DOT from the Ibis stick, from League of Assassin's Adept Blade, from Arcanite Catwoman's passive. None of those are going to affect him. And in fact, they are going to be so strong uh, in, in making him like heal from the health and DOT. So one other strength I, I would note is that all these passives will work even from Elite Zero. So you only need to get one copy of him. Like you don't even need to promote him to Elite Two or Elite Five or Elite Seven. He will already have all these passives active. Passive active, that's kind of oxymoron. But anyway, all these passives will work at Elite Zero and he will be able to share this passive with any of his Blackest Knight teammates. And ironically, or coincidentally, Black Sun Martian Manhunter is the current challenge for this week. So if you're like new and you don't have a, a Blackest Knight team yet, this will be a great, amazing opportunity for you to kind of get like a full Blackest Knight team. Of course, you know, you can get Black Sun Mar Martian Manhunter from the challenge. Uh, you got to grind a little bit for Black Knight the Flash. And if you open challenge booster packs, there's like Black Knight Batman, there's Black Knight Hawkgirl. Uh, all of these things are, you know, a great, uh, really, gr I, what I want to say is this is a great time to, for the full Black Side team to be accessible to you if you're a new player. Um, oh, Dusto Gay. Yes, I saw you on the leaderboards. Welcome, guys. Uh, Xiong Wenxuan, Transformers Leo, Hauer, uh, Victor Luo. J-E-S. All right. Thanks for joining, guys. All right. So so I have talked about uh, his strengths. Now, what are his weaknesses? Um, wait. Actually, I'm not, done, I'm not done talking about his strengths, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, his special two damage is actually boosted. Now, uh, some of uh, the players, including myself, have done some research on the stats of the damage stats of all the special two cards for all the special two damage for gold characters in the game. And only three gold cards have a special two damage that is over 300%. The first is uh, Batman Ninja Lord Joker is exactly at 300%. Second, Black Side the Flash at 308% of the total special two damage if you swipe to 200%. And of course, the gold card with the highest special two damage, guess who? Black is not Batman, of course. Uh, he has like 320%. Let me see. Let me check check my statistics here. Um, so Black is not Batman. No, I mean Batman Ninja Batman. Batman Ninja Batman has 322% uh, total special 2 damage than, than compared to other cards. So, so his... So the, the moral of the story is that Black Side the Flash does have boosted special two damage, which makes him hit really hard as well. Okay. Um, what else? What other strengths do we have? I mean, it's plenty, a lot of strengths already that, that I've listed, but basically, you know, he's such a great uh, 
card to tank with. And like I said, because his passive is already available at Elite Zero, uh, you can use him to defeat a lot of story mode battles. So again, if you're a new player and you're struggling with, you know, page seven, page eight of uh, the campaign, and you have a Blackest Knight, like the three, triple Aquaman, right? You know, it's pretty tough to defeat. Uh, I do have, I did feature the Blackest Knight team uh, in my baby Scopus account. So I might actually, yeah, after this stream, I might actually link that in the description as well, uh, where I showed that how you use a full Blackest Knight team, even at low promotions to defeat, um, of course, with the right gears to defeat like tough story mode battles. Why do they have more damage? Uh, good question. That's kind of a question for the developers. For whatever reason, they coded uh, this these characters so that they have higher damage than most others. And and there are some uh, like if the special two is attached to like a stun or a freeze or poison, the damage is usually half, only fifty percent. Like we know that, right? So uh, yeah. I can't answer that. The developers just coded the cards this way, but basically, that's uh, you know after after we did some tests and research on these cards, that's that's those are the specific numbers that we found. What time is it where you're live? It's about eleven twenty-five p.m. right now, Eastern time. Okay, so now that we've talked about it, obviously a lot of strengths, like you know, obviously that it is a. Uh, clear why people want him but let's talk about his weaknesses what are his weaknesses right that's that's something that i don't really hear a lot of people talk about um and i would say ironically he's the flash so he's supposed to be fast right but in the world of injustice one mobile it's a little bit slow in dealing damage what do i mean by this so again through the uh research that we have done we actually you know recorded down the the duration of time it takes for a go-kart to deal a special two and the lower the number obviously the faster and the more efficient the card is in completing multiplayer matches but when it comes to blackest night the flash um like you know his he does a lot of damage on his special two but at the same time at the cost of time meaning that it takes forever. Have you seen his special two animation? I, I can show you like after this, but his special two takes 11 seconds. That is so long. Um, it, it feels like an eternity for the whole animation to to be completed. Like one, he has one of the slowest special twos in the game. Okay, uh, let's see. The one with the slowest, the longest special two, of, of course is Rebirth Wally West. And we everybody hates him, right? <laughs> for, for that reason. Um, and then, the Joker Unhinged Suicide Squad has over 12 seconds of animation time. And then Black Side, the Flash Special 2 is at 11 seconds of animation time. So highly inefficient if you want to use him as a Special 2 damage dealer. Um, you could use him more for a Special 1, but, but then again, you know, his passive... So it, at least this is my opinion, okay? His, pass, his passive is that... It's, it's very defensively based. It's not made for offense. It, you know, that's just how Black's... And, and I'm, I actually talked about this in another video. Uh, in the uh, Dawn of Justice Batman pack bundle video. But I compared him to Earth 2 Flash. And I would prefer Earth 2 Flash just because Earth 2 Flash's passives, they're all centered around increasing damage on stun, right? Or automatically critting on uh, enemies who are stunned. And, and that probably makes him one of the highest damage dealing flash cards in the game. Like, I'm a flash fan, and there are a lot of flash cards. Uh, and, you know, most people would say, oh, Black Snipe Flash is, like, probably the best flash card in the game. But in terms of efficiency, in terms of damage dealing, I would disagree. Uh, so that, to me, is a major weakness because we're all about efficiency. We're all about trying to complete matches as fast as possible. And he doesn't seem to do that pretty well. Um... So that's a, an obvious glaring weakness for me. Other than that, let's see. Like like I've mentioned earlier, uh, his resurrection depends on gears, depends on characters. So if you don't have uh, Black Desert Hard Girl on your team, or if you don't have uh, the fourth wheel set, then there's no way he's going to be able to use that part of his passive. He's not going to be able to resurrect. 
So, so not of course not that many weaknesses. Overall, he's still a super strong card, but those are his weaknesses. And then let's talk about gears. Um, so you can, like I said, you know, if you want to make him a full tank and utilize his passive, give him the fourth wheel set and stuff. Uh, I would not recommend a special two build just because first you won't have a way of resurrecting without those gears, and also it takes forever. To do special two dash but if you don't care about speed if you only care about winning a match then yeah a special two build would be viable um i would rather if you really want to use it i would rather use him as a basic damage dealer or a special one focused damage dealer because uh special one uh damage is he's pretty he has a pretty fa fast special one and it also is able to knock on multiple opponents at the same time uh i will also you know use him for basic damage with the Necron Scythe so that when he gets low on health, he can steal the enemy's power with basic attacks. And he's able to dodge basic attacks. So, um, I guess a good way to synergize... Okay, we're going to the next session already, which is synergies. Uh, a, a good way to synergize is actually to pair him with like Killer Frost to prevent the enemies from having a lot of power. Because if they're not able to use their specials and they can only use basic attacks to attack him, then he's going to have a much higher chance of dodging those basic attacks and leaving the enemy open to, to counter attacks. So, um, other obvious synergies, of course, is in a full Blackest Knight team. Duh, right? So, again, if you have Blackest Knight Martian Manhunter, they will, he will be able to benefit from uh, Blackest Knight Flash's healing uh, and power generation from DOT, right? Uh, Black Knight Hawkgirl, Black Knight Batman, Black Knight Superman. I see people in the chat, T Rex, talking about how Black Knight Superman is good in as a solo character in Black Knight team. Hmm. But yeah, uh, so Black Knight team is obvious. Another uh, thing to note is that he is a Justice League team member. So the Flash, any Flash character, is a Justice League member and will have synergy with cards like New 52 Wonder Woman because New 52 Wonder Woman is able to generate power for any Justice League team members and also New 52 Shazam. So I have actually featured that team defensively myself because uh, New 52 Shazam grants Justice League and New 52 team members uh, buff in terms of 25% damage reduction and 25% basic damage boost for when you have maxed out Shazam. I believe those are the numbers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so those are the possible synergistic teams you can and but even even if uh you don't want to use him in a blackest knight team or justice league team he is on his own like you know with the right gears he's a pretty tough tank to defeat um but it would be better to to put him in a full black Knight team period counters a lot of people ask how do you defeat a blackest knight team with blackest knight flash it's super annoying obviously but uh I have two pretty obvious ways that I can think of. First is Flashpoint Batman. Flashpoint Batman is a direct counter to Black Knight Flash because Flashpoint Batman's passive disables resurrections. So if you use a, a special from Flashpoint Batman, he, he, all of his resurrections, doesn't matter if Black Knight Flash has the fourth wheel set or has Black Knight Hawk on his team. He is not going to be able to resurrect for about six seconds after Flash Mode Batman uses his special. So that's a direct counter. Another way of dealing with him is actually, um, well, actually three ways. So the second way is uh, Claw of Horrors. So Claw of Horrors is a gear which is, allows you to be able to shatter the enemy's gears. So if you're able to shatter Black Knight Flash's gears, then he will lose one or two resurrections. Necron Scythe and the frost will set. He will not be able to resurrect from those gears if all of his gears are shattered, right? So that's counter number two. Counter number three is, oh, it was just on my mind. Um, counter number three, what was I gonna say? Uh, loading. Crap, I, I literally had it. Um, mm. this, is why I, this is why you should write notes. I didn't write notes. This is all just coming from my brain. Um, crap. I thought I... There's a third counter. Uh, yes. Splash damage. Air effect damage. There we go. So if you have the League of Assassins knives or you have like the fourth wheel mace uh, that is, does air effect damage, uh, that's a very good way of uh, 
dealing damage to him before he even comes in so that when he tags in he's already at one hp and then you can immediately you know knock him out to his second bar or third bar of health but that's a not so good way that's why it didn't really click in my brain as fast uh flash my batman and uh claw of horrors those those are going to be really great ways of countering him okay um and i will i will get to the questions in the chat after this okay so i'm going to give a overall rating so we're, co we're coming to the conclusion of uh, this guide i, I I'm not going to end the stream. I'm just going to conclude and then we'll, you know, feature some gameplay with Black Sun the Flash. But uh, to wrap this up, to wrap this guide up, overall rating, I would say he would be a solid 9 to a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and I'm talking about overall. Okay. If, if you are, let's say, if you want to give a rating purely based on speed or efficiency, he will be lower so I'm, I'm considering all aspects of cart and overall i would say a nine I'll, I'll probably give a nine uh the only reason he's not a 10 is because he's slow in terms of finishing matches um but he's super tanky you know he makes the whole team strong you have a much higher chance of winning matches if you have him on your team so uh definitely don't sleep on this sleep on this guy if you have a chance definitely you know make use of uh, this week grind your heart out it's going to be worth it even if you don't finish in top one percent finishing in top five percent uh and just getting one copy that will be good enough to be able to utilize his passive so there we go that is the pretty much uh 20 minute guide for black side the flash uh again not a comprehensive or an exhaustive list but I'm probably going to break this into chapters so that people who watch this in the future will be able to kind of just navigate through okay let me Go ahead and read the chat here. Oh, Sakis is five hours behind me. Frosty. What would you say is the best way to gain battle rating as a beginner? Um, play as much as you can. Use all of your cards because you only have limited amount of energy. Um, what when I started off, I I just you know, even bronze cards I used to grind, and I just played nonstop, like a lot of hours into this game. Uh, soon, what's up? Welcome, Gabe31. Uh, no, Scopus is not like the S K O P U S. That's not my al alternate account. It's um, some guy who's trying to imitate me. Um, just came up recently, but all right. Yeah, New Future Wonder Woman is awesome. Exactly, Tristan. I agree. If Flash is stunned, will he be able to dodge basic attacks? Yes, Victor. The answer is yes. Even though he's stunned, um, I'm like 90% sure based on my experience. But um, I think I've seen it before where even though he's stunned and you try to use his bi your, uh, basic attacks to attack him, he's able to dodge that, but he's not able to uh, you, to counterattack because he's still stunned. I, actually, I can test that. Uh, let, let's just go ahead and test that in a bonus battle six. But... I'm pretty sure he, he is able to do that. Uh, should I buy a normal end pack or pro pack? My goal is getting characters. So Frosty, I would say if you're trying to expand your collection, go with the 200 pack. The one that you spend 200 end metal to, to, to buy the pack. All right, let's go to bonus battle. And um, I'm going to put Bane, Bane on the other team so that he he might be able to stun Flash. Um, let's see. Well, let's put a bronze card. There you go. The flash. So, so any card will do. Obviously, this is. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this. The flash. Yeah, if you want a super tanky setup, a full fall for set will work on him too. So we're gonna hope that uh, the enemy Lucy Bane. Uh, Attacks and then stuns the flash. Hey, Zayed Ali he said, first time watching. Thanks for joining, man. Welcome. I'm glad you made it here today. So I'm going to knock him out. Uh, wait. Uh oh. I missed my chance. Ah. Well, that did not go well. I was trying to get a stun. Let me try it again. But thanks for joining, Zaid. I'm happy you're here. 
I'm just gonna use basic attacks all the way and let Bane tag in. That's how we're gonna test uh, if he's able to dodge. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the answer is yes though. Uh, CR Vibes says, I have Blacklist Superman and Batman currently in top 1% grinding my heart out. That's the team I'm going to put in with. Awesome! That would be a pretty strong team, not going to lie. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the most popular Blacklist Knight setup is Batman, Hawkgirl, and Flash. Um, but, you know, Superman is kind of slept on. Superman has good potential as well. Dude, why are they not... <laughs> Let me try this. Let me try this one more time. I knocked him out, and then Bane did not stun uh, Flash. I was hoping he does. So let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and use a special here. Okay, I'm not gonna knock him out. I'm just gonna wait until Bane tags in. Hopefully, wealthy drop. Welcome. Thanks for joining, man. Uh, I'm not carrot says hope your day's going well also respect. Yes, my I had a pretty good day Definitely respect the grind ah. So <laughs> Okay, you know what I I'm going to do is uh, have killer frost on the team so that when Bane tags in this is like This is more uh, Difficult than I thought but okay this should work now okay use your bane against the ad flash oh yes oh yes yeah that he did not dodge at that time so so i'm gonna wait it out let him tag out let bane tag in come on come on huh so no, no dodge there. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can't prove it right now, but I kind of. I'll. You know, the, we we don't want to just assume based on my word alone. So I will test it out a little bit more. But I, I do remember, I feel like I've seen that before where even though a Black Knight Flash is stunned, uh, he was still able to dodge a basic attack. Uh, but of course he can't attack back because he's remained in that stunned uh, position. But I, I'll confirm that just so that, you know, you guys get the correct information and, and I'm not assuming things. You should have put static on the team for the 100% stun chance. I mean, I could, I could put a static on the team. Um, I could put static on the team, but you know, it, it depends on whether the the enemy flash is gonna dodge or not. So that's gonna try that. But that's a good question. That's definitely static. worth finding out. Okay, so. I'm going to attack stat again, and I'm going to use a basic and see if this works. Okay. All right, so we are applying a stun. And now we're going to try to basic. Let's try that again. Uh, problem is my static is way too strong. <laughs> Flash is almost dead from that. Oh, please don't die from this. Please. Okay, stunned. Well. Okay. Um, so twice we stunned him and twice he did not dodge. I'm starting to think maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll just do it one more time. Uh, 
Yeah, he can dodge while stunned. I've seen it. Exactly. Thank you, legit. Boomy. Yes. I know I'm not insane, because I, I remember that. I just need to prove it on camera, I guess. Um, Reese, Megar, A Demons, a uh, little Uzi. Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining today. He just dodged twice. Flash my Batman special one in Catwoman's first battle. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try it one more time, but if not, it's fine. I, I pretty much, you know, confirmed. Uh, another person confirmed that as well, that see seeing that Flash was able to dodge while being stunned. I'm apparently not here. For whatever reason. The question is, is Blackest Knight Flash able to dodge basic attacks while he is being stunned? That is the question. So I'm going to try this uh, special one him again. Okay, we're going to try to do it again. Do you think Earth Duke Flash and Summer Grundy will Jing Green Lantern is a good team? I would say... Yeah, so, okay. For whatever reason, uh... I guess it's a low percentage, low chance of uh, stunning him anyway. I mean, low chance of dodging specials, dodging basics, man. <laughs> um, but I have, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. We were not able to prove it scientifically in this stream, but whenever I do, I will let you guys know. What are the best battles for XP grinding? Uh, Bonus battle six is pretty good for up to level 43. If you want to f level up from 43 to, well, yeah, from 43 to 50, you can do either, either bonus battle 7 or 8. I love the fact that Black Knight Superman, all Black Knight characters, and unblockable resistance, and the whole Black Knight team gains health per KO. Yes! I love that as well. You know, since you brought that up, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, let me put Black Knight Flash on the team, and then get um, Superman, right? Superman here. And what will be the third character you guys want to see? Alright, Albion on the Twitch chat says, My main online team is Flashpoint Batman, Elite 7, Killer Frost, Elite 7, Harley Quinn. I used to play my bats so a lot of times we get destroyed. Son of Necron Scythe instead of the helmet. Yes. Um, that's, that's awesome, yeah. I agree, Necron Scythe would be a good choice for uh, Flashpoint Batman. I agree. You can see that he doesn't take damage. Hmm. It didn't show the damage numbers for one of the attacks. Right, right. Yeah, GFP Pigeon is saying the same thing I'm, as well. Says, I'm pretty sure I've seen it happen before when using Bane or something. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I know I'm not insane. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Patty Hess says, hey, it's been a while. Missed. Yeah, 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 it's been a while. I uh, missed streaming last week, but we are back uh, with a guy today. Uh, in your opinion, who's a better card, Earth 2 Flash or Black Knight Flash? I would say Earth 2 Flash just because I am more damage oriented and I prefer finishing matches quickly and not defensively. So, but people can argue with that. You know, I can feel free to disagree. Yeah, Matthew says, I think there's just no animation. Yeah, I'm starting to think that too because there, there was no numbers that popped up. When I tried to deal the third attack there. What is the best gear for Black Knight Flash? Anthony asks. Um, it just depends on what you, you know, how you want to gear. If you want to make him a tank, obviously the fourth will set. Uh, if you want to make him a special, special one focus damage dealer, then, you know, League of Assassin's Knives, Ibistic, Tanu Totem, Hawkgirl, gr Boss Grindy, come on. <laughs> What's your main office with which gears? Uh, currently, just so I, I'm, I've been you know, testing out a lot of different teams, Justin. But the one that I like to use a lot nowadays is the Arkham Origins Deathstroke, uh, paired with Arkham Harley Quinn, for the unblockable chance of special two. I like that team a lot. Have you not bought the health support cards? I only bought one, out of, by mistake. I didn't intend to do that, but yeah, only one. Okay, so I think someone said Hawk Girl. Um, so let's do Hawk Girl, right? So that will be able to highlight his, uh, his ability to resurrect. And I'm gonna 
so I, out of the three fourth wheel gears, I would say, you know, the, the chest plate would be good on him just to stack upon, stack with his passive of dodging basic attacks. So the fourth wheel chest plate does give you a 20% chance to take no damage from basic attack. So that does stack with his passive. So we're going to do that. And uh, let's do the Necron Scythe as well. Yeah. So I'm going to intentionally let him go low on health. So that he can gain three bars. I mean, yeah, pretty much. So in this case, I would say a uh, hawker will be a great special two damage dealer. Um, and then Superman can kind of be the guy yeah, like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do an epic battle. Yep, J cards, I agree. Earth to Flash, probably better for MP grinding. Yep. Should I stop promoting Flashman, but he's not Elite 5? Don't know who to promote next. Yeah, I, I would stop at Elite 5. He really doesn't need higher promotions to be effective. You're pro you if with the right gears, you're able to uh, defeat the tough uh, MP bat. I mean, MP. MP battles as well, but also like story mode battles. Just Elite 5. How fast will Elite Ares or higher with Tender Tone and Space Special be in completing Ultimate? Uh, pretty fast. Ares' weakness is uh, Resurrectors. So if the enemy is able to Resurrect, you know, he would have lost Special 2. He's not able to regain the power through Tender Tone. Keep losing my ultimate battle as flashing by Alcorn Origin Do you know if any have any tips to finish the full ladder? Um I'm not carrot. I would i I'm not a carrot. I would say try to focus more on your gears. And probably lower the stats of your team. Because the higher your team stats, the higher the enemy team stats, and usually that's more tough opponents for yourself. So if you are struggling defeating ultimate ladder, just go with epic ladders. Or use like enemies, I mean, use mem cards with uh, lower stats. So there we go. Necron Scythe is uh, activated. Okay, let's just go ahead and get the first resurrection here. So that was one, right? We're gonna see if we can get two more resurrections here. Uh, Jason Kai for Jeffrey. Welcome. How do I be a pro? <laughs> uh, I mean, in this game, there the isn't really a pro. You kind of just... The person who spends a lot of time grinding, that's the person who's going to have a more extensive collection uh, and, you know, better gear cards and stuff like that. Victor says, Black Ops Knight Superman Unblockable Immunity is underrated. You can counter lots of cards in the current... Absolutely. So you can counter cards like uh, Arkham Rangers Deathstroke or any Arkham card with Arkham Harley Quinn. Right, so they're not able to trigger the unblockable. All right, that was the third resurrection, I think. So let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and finish this off. There we go. And then um, cards like Prime Ares, you know, with the special two. If you hold block, he will not be able to, you know. Trigger his passive on unblockable attack against Black Knight Superman, so that's good as well. Why don't you promote your character? Swan is asking. Um, check out the Scopus build video that Jcars has linked in the in the chat. Uh, yep, never mind. He already answered that question. So yeah, uh, that I, in the first two minutes of the video, I explained why I don't promote all my characters. Plex Zoo, welcome to this uh, to the stream. Yeah, it's an old game, a very old game, but pretty decent player base here. When will just Superman come back in the challenges? Uh, unfortunately, he's not. Oh, so <laughs> Catwoman is uh, applying bleed on Black Side Flash, but Flash is healing. And gaining power from this. Look at that. 
<laughs> so he's slowly healing up there. Absolute tank here. And with, uh, you know, Hawkgirl and Superman, he's able to heal even more. So that's insane. Do you like Blackest Knight Flash or Superman more? Uh, maybe Flash a little bit more, but just because, you know, he's able to offer more to the team uh, in terms of DOT immunity, but Superman is actually, it's hard to say. I mean, both are pretty good. Look at that. So I guess, you know, if, if, uh, you are a player who's not that good with timing your blocks and stuff um, then flash will allow you a lot of room for mistakes because he can dodge basic attacks he can heal from dot stuff like that but okay i gotta get a little bit serious i lost my flash while talking <laughs> but no problem superman and a uh, hawk girl they are super strong as well Yeah, un unfortunately, Crandon, it's not Injustice 2 Super is not part of the challenge cycle right now. So, uh, yep, Ronin, you could say so. Uh, Black Side Flash is pretty much a counter to Arcanite Catwoman. Who's your favorite? Uh, Black Knight character, hard to say because again, th their synergies depend on each other. Like they need each other to, like you know, Flash without Hawk Girl and without the right gears, he's not able to resurrect. Um, or Black Knight Batman without his Black Knight teammates, not able to increase the unblockable chance. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> Hope that makes sense to you, but so he says best gear curves for Flashpoint team. Um, it depends on how you want to use them. Um, you know, you can use Batman like with a special one focus, or you can use Batman with a basic attack focus. It's all up to you. Um, but for me, I would go with uh, Batman, with Astro Super Pill, and Eskrima Sticks, uh, Flashpoint Aquaman with the Ross Ogus Scimitar, Ibis Stick, Quake Engine, Flashpoint Deathstroke with Tano Totem, Massive Death Card, Claw Force. That's how I use them. Do you think Injustice will get any more updates? Benson says, I don't think so. And even if they do, it's not like major content. Unfortunately. Juan says, what should I do first when I get back to Injustice 3 years? Um, maybe catch up on like the Phantom Zone. Because that's the only way to get Valorum Alloy. And if you're interested in maxing or upgrading your metal specials, then that's the only way of doing it. Do you think Black Knight Doomsday would be fit as a carry? I personally think it's special to lose cool. Yes, he does have potential. Um, for his passive to reach maximum damage, you'll have to prolong the match. But he's still a pretty good, I would say yes, pretty good uh, damage dealer. What do you think is the strongest team for multiplayer grinding? There is not, there is not a single strongest team, Justin. Um, it really just depends on how you gear them. But some pretty famous ones are Flashpoint team, Black Side team, Arkham Knight team with Arkham Knight back row, Batman Ninja team. All these are pretty strong because they have a lot of synergy. Congrats on your Arkham Ninja's Deathstroke, Jason. That's insane. Just from blue crystals, from the veteran crystals. It's good. 
Cheese Nugget says, who do you think is going to be the next challenge at MP? It's actually in the stream description. Just check it out. Uh, but if the cycle continues, it will be Mysterious Artifact for multiplayer reward. And it will be Ar uh, the Joker. Arc Origins the Joker for a challenge. Spaceman, I'm so sorry to hear, man. You lost your account. Um, yeah, you know, so the support team doesn't really do much when someone loses an account, so you either uh, move on or start a new account. It's kind of what I did with uh, Nightscope. What if we all contact W Games to persuade them? Uh, provide us at least an update for optimization. Um, we could try, but I honestly don't think that it'll do anything. Right now, the, the company's focus is on Injustice 2 Mobile as well as Mortal Kombat. So I really don't... Um, I mean, we can set up a petition and stuff, but I still don't think um, they're going to do anything. Is this a Blacklist, the best Blacklist Knight team? Debatable. Um, I mean, you know, Black Knight Superman is kind of strong too. I would say the best defensive Black Knight team, yes. Some people like the uh, unblockable chance from Black Knight Batman. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. She is healing from DOT thanks to Flash's passive right there. Swipe and scissors. Scarecrow's gear good? Yes. It is good. Best way to get a lot of shards. I do have a uh, stream where I talk about how to maximize your shard efficiency. Um, you can go to my page and look for under the playlist full playthrough. And it's under League of Assassins Survivor Grinding, that, that stream. I talk about it. Just go to the stream description, you should be able to see it. Man, the invasion is annoying. Ooh, love that combo ender animation. Probably one of the coolest uh, combo enders ever in the entire game. This. Straight through the heart. Do you think it was worth the grind for Luchador Bane? Yes. I'm not a carrot. Yes. Man, you guys can hit Black as Light Flash all you want. He's not gonna die. This guy is <laughs> a super tank. So we're just healing up from all that DOT. What's the worst MP gear card and best in your opinion? Uh, worst. Oh my goodness! Oh, it transferred over the special two to Dawn of Justice Batman. Oh my god. She healed to full thanks to Black Knight Superman and her own passive. Man. Yeah, I, I would say this is a really solid team. Uh, if you're talking about safety. Um, sorry, I was, I was answering a question earlier. Worst MP gear card. Um... Probably Riddler of Kane. The XP boost doesn't work and it doesn't really do anything. I hardly ever use that gear at all, unless I'm trying to troll. Um, the Batmobile is also a card that kind of has lost its uh, effectiveness because super moves are not the meta right now. Back in the day, before gear were introduced, uh, super moves was a good way of dealing damage but not anymore uh, it's slow and you are able to the end i mean the ai is able to block up to 50 percent of that super move damage so yeah 
How to defeat Wally West and D Donald Jesse Bands by stunning them. Yep. What order should I put the Flashpoint team in? Uh, have Aquaman in the first spot so that you can immediately use a special one to bleed. And then Batman and Deathstroke doesn't matter, second and third slot. Play an online match with no gears as a challenge. <laughs> I could, it just would take forever. Um, but not on this stream. This stream is mainly just to kind of focus on, you know, Black Knight Flash and I think I think we have uh, pretty much covered most of uh, what he can do and stuff like that in the first twenty minutes. So, can you do ultimate metal pack opening? So I am actually saving all these ad metal to do a massive pack opening. Uh, I'm gonna spend all of the twenty thousand, but I'm gonna make a YouTube post and have you guys vote on what packs do you want to see whether it's all ultimate packs all pro packs or a mixture of both or you know whatever combination you guys want but yeah so i i think um i think that's it for for this stream um i'm gonna after this probably just make some chapters so that people in the future or new players who watch this stream they'll be able to you know kind of get a good idea of everything about black is the flash um but yeah uh let me know in the comments later if you guys like character guys like that or if you want me to like cover gears or other cards and i'll see what i can do but i hope you guys have a great evening or weekend to those of you who are fathers happy father's day <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one.